I'm joined now by Natella Shingalia, Deputy Head of the Russian Federation and Ministry for Tourism. Welcome to World Travel Market. Thank you for coming to our stand. I understand that you've only just finished a major press conference where you've been talking about uh, four new destinations in Russia. Would you just like to tell our viewers a little bit about that? Uh, thank you. It's, uh, it was not only a press conference, but it was a presentation of our new destinations. In this presentation, mm, you know, it was few regions who showed the new tourism product and not only regions, it was uh, a museum of uh, Leo Tolstoy, for instance, and his, his grand-grandchild, he was, was there, Vladimir Tolstoy, and another, another writer, Sholokhov, maybe you remember, yes. about, uh, he, he represents their new, to, new tourism product too. Of course, it's Euro, it's a unique destination, it's uh, in, in, on, in, in near Siberia. Right. It's Ural, you know, it's, it's between Europe and Asia. Yet yeah, they are mountains. They, okay. they represent it in one brand as, as tourism of its Ural mountains as territory for hospitality. And so we have Chukotka as a new destination. And we have, uh, you know, some more. We have Caucasus, we have Sochi as a host of the Olympic Games of 2000. 14, yes. and we have, we have uh, you know, railway, Trans new trans Express. I want to come here. back to that in a minute. I want to come back to the, the railways. We'll talk about that. Um, can I just ask you if you could tell our viewers how important the tourism relationship is between Russia and the United Kingdom? Yes, it's very important because I know that many British people want to go to Russia to see new destinations, maybe not Moscow, not St. Petersburg. Many people were there I mean, for many times, but maybe you. That's why our big stand here on the fair, it's all, all, all new destinations. Right. So about 500 square meters and all regions of Russia, 18 regions is here. It's all new regions with new tourism product. We have now, you know, we have 87 regions, but the most interesting 87. 87 regions in Russia. You know, Russia is very big, <laughs> but, but we have here on our stand the Siberian, Far East, you know, yes. uh, South of Russia, Middle Russia. Now that reminds me, I want to ask you about the new Trans-Siberian Railway, but before I do, can we just ask the cameraman to take us round the corner yes. so we can see the, map, the railway map of Russia? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Now, Natella, I understand that Russia has seventh of the world's land mass. It's an enormous yes. country. There's an eight-hour time difference between East and West and you've got an enormous railway network there, but just tell me briefly about the new Trans-Siberian Railway. Yeah, you know, it's not only big land, huge land, but it's huge tourism product, you know. And if you go by, by new uh, tourism, uh, Trans-Siberian, it's special for tourism, you know. The name is Golden Eagle, and Golden. It's, it comes from Moscow, to uh, the uh, eastern Siberia and then to go to Beijing. It's about one week. I can Just, show you now. Yes. It's mm -hmm. fr fr from Moscow to from Rizan to, uh, to from Tataria, Kazan, from, from through Volga, through Ekaterinburg, it's Ural. Then it goes to, to Novosibirsk, it's Siberia part. And there it goes to Krasnoyarsk, Bratsk. It's, it's Baikal, you know. It's a pearl of of uh, lakes and it's Irkutsk and then it goes to Chita and to Beijing so it's a big big route so and I can and see it's a six day journey from it's I think finish. because it's it's a lot of stops in the towns and it's a lot of excursion excursions mm. so I think it's interesting but n now from the uh, next year from April it will be a new uh, express it will be a new train not Trans-Siberian, but it will be, it's, the name is Alexander Nevsky, and the, it was a presentation here today. It will, it will be from Moscow to St. Petersburg and right. from Moscow through Golden Ring. Right. It's interesting too, it's not far, but it's interesting because it's a very comfortable train and very interesting excursion around. They have uh, these railways, our Russian railways, they have they be, uh, one big uh, tour operator, mm -hmm. Quebec only for the railway trips. Right. Now, it's obvious that uh, Russia is doing a lot to tell the UK market, in fact, the world market, about all these wonderful new reasons for going to, yeah. to see Russia. I'm, I'm sure you're going to have a really great show, and I wish you all the best for your tourism for Thank next year. You. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. And welcome to Russia. Thank you.